Up until just a few years ago, American politics had never seen anything like it. A politician receiving intense and unshakable loyalty from their supporters. It has been a defining, if at times, volatile feature of Donald Trump's political life and his enduring power over his party. If you want to understand that loyalty, hit the campaign trail, where our NBC News 2024 campaign embed Jake Trailer found a group of Trump superfans who literally won a front row seat to the action. A Donald Trump rally, notorious for drawing his most steadfast supporters. Chock full of chanting crowds and merchandise mania. Here, a fandom around the former president is the norm. But long before lines like this appear, a self-admittedly crazed club of Trump superfans have already been staking out the event site for days, sometimes weeks, camping out in their cars and tents to ensure their front row status. They call themselves the Front Row Joes. We try to come prepared. We bring warm weather clothes. I didn't bring a, a anything for my head, so that's why I've got a towel wrapped around my head. Sharon Anderson and Mike Boatman lead the group of roughly 50 ultra-dedicated Trump supporters who first banded together in 2015. Upending their normal lives, they road trip across the country to as many Trump events as possible. The former president himself recently taking notice. Look at the front row Joes. Will you stand up? These people, they follow me all over the place. They're the greatest. But you know what? They love our country. Mike just attended his 83rd Trump event. And though he lives paycheck to paycheck, says he spent thousands of dollars to make this lifestyle possible. Traveling as far as Alaska for a rally last year. The Alaska trip cost quite a bit, but it's not about the money, really. I mean, I'm not rich, but it's supporting Donald Trump, showing my loyalty to Donald Trump. That loyalty is something Trump demands from his base, and the front row Joes are first on the scene to deliver. Despite unkept promises and aggressive rhetoric, they say Trump understands them in a way other politicians don't, as if they know him personally. I feel like he's my best friend. I don't have him on speed dial. But I feel like Donald Trump knows us. He goes out of the way to recognize the front row Joes. He knows our faces. I don't know if he knows our names. Focusing on personability over policy is consistent across Trump's entire MAGA base. And even with 91 felony charges against him that point to a possibility of prison, their support is unwavering. If he's convicted, if he's convicted. and he wins, Put the Oval Office in whatever prison they have him in. It'd be kind of fun to see, actually. I know that sounds crazy, but I mean, if you can run the country that way. Like their leader, the Front Row Joes say they are emboldened by each indictment, traversing thousands of miles and braving severe weather in parking lots across America. This gang of Trump groupies say their loyalty won't be taking a back seat anytime soon. Jake Trailer, Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.